Hi everybody, this is Shirley from Automate Soft Tech. Today I would like to show you how to activate your um, My Invoice Portal. So from here, uh, I hope everybody can see my screen. Huh? So from here, the screen here, I'm actually logging to the My Text Portal. Uh, I'm going to use the testing environment. After logging, right, it's supposed to prompt you this kind of screen. So as as director, you need to use your director account to log in. As director, right, you can click this one under the role selection here. You can click this arrow down, select director of the company, choose the company. Okay. After you choose the company, uh, I think we require uh, the director to add in representative because uh, you need to appoint a representative in order for the representative to check the e-invoicing documents and transactions have been submitted or cancelled or void. From here, right, you what you need to do is you just need to provide the ident identity card number and then click add will do already. Click add will do. Okay. The user at the bottom here will receive an email, click activate. Same thing, they need to log in to their text portal. After they log in to the text portal, right, they will be able to see these kind of things as well. But uh, it won't name director of the company, it will be representative of the company. They select the company will do already. So next step, what director should do? Okay, here on the top part menu here, there is my invoice, uh, my invoice menu. So what they need to do is just to click the link, uh, the menu bar, it will redirect to My Invoice Portal. Once they redirect to My Invoice Portal, right, for the first time, you need to um, read the agreements, terms and conditions, and then agree. And then subsequently, the next step, right, it will pop up a screen asking you to key in the company information. The company information required to key in will be something like this. Your T number, your company name, and then what is your SSC number. And then uh, you can put uh, you can put uh, whatever available, uh, the address, email. The This email right, will be the um, e-invoice document uh, notification email. Which email is going to receive the uh, whenever there is a uh, document submission okay then at the bottom here at the bottom here once you done right you once you done login you will be able to see something like this okay you have your personal account at the same time you do have your company account so right now this one is a personal and then this one is a company account so from the company account here, you will be able to see the in, uh, representative at the bottom. So what I need you guys to do is next, you need to add immediately in order for auto account to connect. Okay, here, how, how are we going to add? Uh? You see, uh, I just click the button at the here, add intermediary here. Okay, the, the right hand side. Uh. I hope everybody can see the my mouse point. The here, I add. And then here, you need to copy this thing uh, because auto count will be your intermediary. So you just key it as uh, exactly as per what I key in here. So if you don't have this information, you can always get from our support. Okay, so you can search and then the information will be displayed here. But since I already added, that's why it keep on put me this thing. So if you haven't, then you just click continue. So the next step for continue, right? It will prompt you this screen. I show you. Uh, I show you the next step will be this. They ask you, okay, uh, this one when you add intermediary, right? What would you like the software, right? The software house, ah, uh, to be able to represent you to do what? Uh, your validity period for the software to access is until when? You can put. You can change and update uh, later on, uh, even though you put a uh, longer or shorter. Okay. Then here, right, uh, in order for the software to submit the document like invoice, right, e-invoice, uh, you need to turn on the access right to submit, to do can cancel, to view, to request rejection as well. Okay, then you click save intermediately. Then after, after success, right, you'll be able to see the line at this uh, table, similar like my screen now. 
So you can click this three dot, right? You can click here, you click edit, you can amend the date as well. Okay. After you successfully add the intermediary, so last step will be this ERP. You also require to do ERP. The, you also require to do the ERP. Okay, from here, you need to click register ERP. Here you give a name for the software that you're using right now. Auto count example, V2. Okay, then um, there's a secret key given, which is the unique secret key. So you want the secret key to be expired by when? So you just put, put it here. Um, in case you worry, you will forgot. And then um, it will be good that you just put the longest will do. Okay, then you click register. Then the similar, similar, uh, similar screen will pop up like my screen now. Auto count is added. Okay, it will pop you after success, right? It will pop you the uh, it will pop you the secret client ID and secret key. So, for example, I in order for me to show you that screen, right? I do reset again, ah, huh? reset, and then here immediately. Okay, I reset. Uh, let's say I set to three years, the new one. Okay, it will put you something like this. Just some. Uh, okay, what you need to do is you don't click confirm and done. Don't click first. You need to print screen this thing. Print screen this thing like what I'm doing here. So you open up your Microsoft Word, capture the things first, and also uh to easier for us to set up the system right you can actually directly copy co copy the text here and then copy the secret key okay then the last one will be this okay so well uh you actually already done so in case uh, because uh, once you close the screen right you won't be able to retrieve the secret key anymore Okay, you won't be able to retrieve her. Oh, okay, so uh, if let's say you really didn't capture the secret key, so what you need to do is you just follow my step here. You'll be able to see one line here. So click the three dot again, regenerate the secret key like what I'm doing just now. Immediately expire the, the one that you do just now and then generate another new one. So it will show you that screen and then you also do the same thing. Capture the screen and then copy out the three things which is your client ID secret secret one secret two okay client secret one secret two uh i think that's it for the uh for activation e invoice so when i back to my e invoice portal right once you activate already huh, when you back to e invoice portal the normal e invoice portal is supposed to be able to view these kind of things documents those documents you already submitted look at my screen it will appear here Okay, refund note, self bill. Okay, you what are you able to see is uh, for example, you are able to click the invoice that you already submitted from auto count. So here, uh, from who, which supplier to which seller, and then what is the item that you sell? Okay, this is an example lah. Of course, from here right, the portal itself, you are able to direct reject and uh, get the validation link as well. But I recommend you directly use auto count to do all these things. Okay, so this one is the manual manual way for user to submit or create e invoice using my invoice portal. If let's say you do not have system, then you need to use this way. Uh, you need to determine. You need to let the uh my invoice portal know you are going to submit invoice, credit note, debit note, or refund note, or whatsoever. Example on uh this e invoice, uh, you click next, right? Uh, you need to let the system know, okay, uh, you're going to auto-generate all the time. And then this one, right, similar like your invoice number or internal ID. Okay, you click new. Then this is your information. The right, uh, the left-hand side will be your company information. So the right-hand side is your customer information. You are going to sell to who? Use the BIN number, you need to key in all these things and then click validate. Okay, then after that, next, right? It will be like you need to add the item that you are going to sell to them. You add line by line and then what is the classification code and then the service product, what is the tariff code, quantity and then how much. Okay, 
It's very rigid, right? Okay, click next. Uh, the last one will be like the your payment, shipping info, import uh, and next year, uh, import and export information. Then next, the last part will be submission already. But you see, if you didn't meet the requirement, right, it will cross cross at the top part here, uh, the top, because I didn't fill in. This is a sample, five steps to submit. Okay, then the reports, right, there is a submission reports that you can um, search by date range. From here, you can export to Excel as well. Okay, any invalid document submitted, right, it will promote, promote here as well. Okay, you can click and have a look. Okay, I think that is uh, the presentation for the activation of my invoice portal. Thank you.